Okay, now we'll move to the punch station. First off, there is a punch, and there is a die. Obviously, you see this is slotted. On all shaped punches, there are notches on top of the punch. All round punches are chamfered on the end of the machine, so notches are not critical. The reason for the notch is so the punch does not spin while punching. If you reach your finger up inside the punch barrel, you can feel where that where that notch belongs. Okay? So first we will put the die in. Again, this is right, this is wrong. As you notice, it's hard to send a big slug through a small hole. So this is right, this is wrong. Also, on the side of the dies, there are machine slots if I want to go front to back or left to right. Now I'm going to choose left to right. The stock machine, when it shows up at your door, the punch and die system is not lined up. So this is how we line it up. First, insert the die into the die holder or the die shoe. Try to line it up. There's a set screw on the side of the die holder. Take the T-handle wrench that's supplied. Tighten the set screw. I like to just snug it up so I bring it in so it's inside that machine slot, back it off a little bit. That way I still got a little bit of movement. Just want to make sure I'm inside that inside that hole. Alright, so with the die still a little bit loose, put the punch nut on the bottom of the punch, insert, then I go up and in, and I drop the punch inside the die. Now it's resting like this. Now I will fire up the machine, put it in punch, step on the pedal, now be careful, align it, run it all the way down. That is how we do it. Make sure that our notches are lined up properly with the, the pin. My pin is on the left side, so I make sure that the notch is facing to the left. Inside the die, step on the pedal, again, carefully line it up, run it all the way down, hit the emergency stop. Now, I screw the punch nut into the punch cylinder. As you screw it on, you here is what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm trying to tighten the punch and the nut, or the die, inside each other. That way you know that's where it'll end up. Insert a little bit, tighten it up. That way when I finish, I know what my finished product is going to be because I started inside the die. Now, I'm gonna tighten the nut. I'm gonna lean into it because you wanna make sure it's tight. And now, I line up the die. Do you wanna gap it. Get an even gap all the way around. Just gap it to the best of your ability. Because again, we're starting inside the die. And we just want to prevent it from chipping. 19 millimeter. Slowly walk it on so it doesn't run away from you. Tighten. It's important that the two die holder bolts are tight and is the punch nut. It's important because we do not want movement. Now that that is tight, we are ready to punch. Start the machine. Good to go. Grab material. You have the stripper. You must slide the stripper on in order to punch. Slides on, locks into place. To remove the stripper, push down. Hold the tab on the end up and over because it has a hook on it. Pull it out. If you wish, you can line stuff up this way. It does have a center punch on there as well. Slide the stripper on. Step on pedal, punch hole. Hole is punched. Rules of punching. 
There are important rules of punching. We do not punch half holes because it takes path of least resistance. And we do not punch small holes through thick plate. You have a quarter inch punch, the thickest plate you will punch through is quarter inch plate. Nothing thicker because it can break the shaft of the punch. Also too, if a guy is punching angle iron, we prefer to punch a leg down. But as you see, I can't get into my die. See how I can't get into my die? Scotchman offers what's called an offset die. The punch is the same, but as you see, the die moves from the center towards the front, and now I can punch in the center of two inch angle iron. And that is how we set up a punch and die. Now, we always start with the punch inside the die when changing. Again, fill the machine, unscrew the nut. That'll free up the punch, set screw on the die, loosen it up, taking it out. Once we set the shoe up, we should be good. But we always start with the punch inside the die. This is critical for safety. 